Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with American Vineyard Magazine reporting to you from the 111th annual meeting of Sunmade Growers here meeting today in uh, downtown Fresno. I'm here with Steve Loftus, the president of SunMade, and wanted to talk with you particularly about your presentation today on how the industry is doing and what SunMade is doing to drive demand and, and work prices up to more sustainable levels. I mean, we've had some challenges over the years. You're one year now into the job. It was great introducing you to the industry about a year ago, and, and now when you're in, here we are. Yeah, I listen, I feel great uh, first year in. Um, you know, from an industry perspective, I'm, I'm bullish on the near-term future for uh, California raisin growers and sun-made growers specifically. Uh, on the stage here today, we shared a little bit of dynamics on what we're seeing in the industry. Uh, we shared uh, what is our third year in a row of increased uh, returns uh, for our growers, our sun-made growers, as well as uh, consistent premium uh, over the broader market. Um, from an industry perspective, we talked a little bit today about, you know, what's been happening with global production, uh, where we're seeing, you know, anticipated declines potentially as high as 20 percent. But we also spent a lot of time talking about one of the largest exporters in Turkey, uh, the decline in production that they have seen, uh, as well as how they have increased their prices. Uh, our hope this year, and, and why I'm bullish in the near term, is, you know, that we have an opportunity to reset you know, pricing as is taking place uh, right now, Turkey uh, leading uh, amongst others in, you know, resetting prices for our California raisin growers and our sun-made growers specifically. Yeah, so you mentioned Turkey, you know, they, they've had a lower crop. We've never been able to compete, right, because yep, of correct. the high prices of, of, of California, this beautiful, wonderful state that we live in yep. that only continues to, to get more costly. Um, but on the quality of our crop, you know, in California, nothing comes close, right? So I, I understand you, you guys are working to maintain your loyal customer base. You know, Japan, yep, right, is, right, is your top customer and California Raisin's top customer, right? Yeah, that's correct. I, I was fortunate enough to, to visit with our uh, top five customers in Japan, a, a loyal market to the California Raisins that has you know, stuck with us through some challenging price gaps uh, to Turkey and challenging supplies. And, you know, what we are committed to and what we value in, you know, the Jap Japanese market is they value and they are loyal to premium raisins, highest quality and reliable suppliers. And that is, you know, the California raisin industry. And so, you know, as we continue to see prices change in the global marketplace, uh, we will continue to be distinguished uh, with the highest quality, but also continuing to ensure we charge a premium uh, on that high quality uh, across our exports. Right. You also talked today about following consumer trends. You know, there's been some trends of, of decline, right, with That's consumer right. Uh, budgets getting tighter and gravitating towards, you know, different things. And so following that trend, you, you mentioned some, some new products that you're going to be releasing and, and trying to reach consumers where they are. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, what I would tell you, it's, it's, been, it's a harder time now than in recent times to drive sales growth growth amongst consumers who are largely fatigued. You know, consumers are coping uh, with significant inflation. When we look back, retail food manufacturers, you know, in 21, late 20, 21, and 22, largely tailwinds behind them as at-home eating surged, and you saw a level of increased demand amongst consumers for the food manufacturers who focus on the retail segments. We're now lapping those uh, conditions. And so we're focused at SunMade leading with innovation. You know, we had a successful this year, a uh, successful year this year, uh, launching a handful of new products. Uh, we are always looking at opportunities to take our dry, the dried fruit segment leading brand is SunMade. And we look at the specialty side of dried fruit as an opportunity to continue uh, to grow market share. Uh, you look at some of the contemporary dried fruits, like a dried mango or mixed berries, that have higher consumption trends than perhaps core raisins. And we're trying to bring our brand uh, that has a license uh, to win in the category and bring value add added products to consumers in the specialty fruit segment. And so we had the launch of our shareable size uh, dried fruit mango as well as our dried mixed berry. 
Uh, we also uh, brought some new exciting flavors to Golden Raisins uh, with our blueberry and lavender uh, launch uh, with Costco. And uh, candidly, we're also projecting into 2024 with a, a lot of uh, new products that we're excited to launch. We'll bring new flavors of our yogurt covers, uh, a segment we continue to have the overwhelming share of, uh, as well as uh, launching a premium tier of uh, sun-made raisins that we're excited to talk more about uh, with the industry. Yeah, well, I mean, especially when you think about how we're just not producing the, the amount of raisins that we've normally done. And this year was a really trying right. year. We're not going to reach even probably the estimate that was okay. was given. So um, that value added, I think, is those products are, are going to be key to, you know, keeping the ship a sail uh, through some of these difficult times. But we really appreciate all the all that SunMade does and, and leading the, really leading the dried fruit category. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, listen, our, our focus is on driving growth within the dried fruit, bringing uh, new products, new occasions for our consumers. Uh, but here at SunMade, we're just as focused on uh, improving the economics for our growers. Uh, we spent a bit of time on the stage today just talking about some of the actions we're taking internally to make sure that we continue to deliver uh, sustainable return growth for our growers. Um, you spoke to it earlier. Uh, the reality in this industry, the reality in California, is the cost to grow uh, continues to rise. And we need to make sure that we are doing right by our growers to make sure that farming raisins, farming other dry fruits are sustainable. Uh, and so we are really focused on grower economics within all that we do, all that we decide at SunMade uh, within every day, uh, week, and our broader strategy as well. Great. Well, thank you so much for your annual meeting. And, and one year in, you're, you're doing great. Uh, we really appreciate hearing from you today. Read more about these things in the coming issue of American Vineyard Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.